All right, everybody, listen, I am so, so, so super excited. We are talking to one of the most uh, amazing voices, I believe, of this generation in worship music and Christian music. And he's here today to talk about his brand new single, new music, so much more that we're going to tra- chat about. And I'm talking about none other than Mr. Travis Green. How are you, sir? Hey, my friend. How are you, Sandra? I'm doing great. I feel good. Enjoying life. Travis, we have so much to talk about. We know that you're here. You're, you're promoting the new single. You waited, and we're going to talk about talk all about that. But, oh, my goodness, your career, where you are right now, did you ever imagine? Uh, I did, um, just because I kind of had an unfair advantage. My mom is a preacher, so she prophesied over me when I was young. So I knew what God would do, but when he would do it, I had no clue. And how it would feel, I had no clue. And so um, I'm kind of in the middle of... Uh, like my like my wife described, I'm I'm living kind of in the middle of a dream and having a having a good time. And Travis, one of the most undeniable things I think about you is the fact that you really really love leading worship and leading people in God's presence. Oh man, yeah, there's there's nothing like it, and it's an amazing opportunity, especially when you recognize that you're not worthy of it. <laughs> you know, so, um, I'm having a great time. So Travis, take us back to the very beginning, how you got started when you started playing, singing, writing songs, all of it. Sure. I mean, I grew up in church, um, so I've played the majority of my life. Um, But, you know, as far as recording music, I just had a heart for it. And so I kind of got involved with my future (laughs) by um, picking up, uh, you know, guitar and learning how to produce and write and and all of those things, and um, that happened more in my adulthood, and I just kind of grew more and more in it, and uh, man, just just enjoyed it, and, and I had people, like, such as my mom, who, who really prayed that God would just anoint and, and give me the desire in my heart to be able to do what I love, and so that, that's, that's how it happened. Travis, you have given us the gift of so many amazing worship moments, intentional, made away. You're here now with the brand new single, You Waited, so tell us all about it. Yeah, so you know, every time, every every me- every song, I try to give as a message, just kind of from my heart of a revelation of who God is to me, you know, who I see Him as in, in that season, and you know, just kind of what He revealed to me, and that's what I did with intentional. Us just seeing Him as a God of purpose, who who has a plan, and always, you know, everything that He allowed to happen has a has purpose behind it. And then secondly, seeing Him as um, a waymaker and made a way, and then now. Um, it's no different, you know, just seeing him as uh, uh, not only being powerful, not only being purposeful, not only being present, but being patient. And that for me was just a blessing, just acknowledging um, the patience of God and that he thought us worthy to wait on. And, uh, you know, that's what this song is about. Travis, you know, one of the things uh, that I love about your story, when I first heard Intentional, even though I love the song, I was thinking, you know, intentional, just that word. Is it singable? Is it melodic enough for people to really catch on to? But I absolutely loved sitting back and watching the world embrace this worship moment and doing it. Man, I loved it. It was amazing. Hey, man, thank you so much. Yeah, I just, it's, it, it, you know, honestly, it wasn't, it didn't really start as a song. It started as a prayer. And the word intentional is just, just something I would say very often to God. Um, and and knowing that everything that he allowed to happen, that he was intentional about it. So it was a word kind of between me and God for a while before it, it became a song. Um, and, and that just kind of happened organically in, in rehearsal one day. And, and then I just started, you know, singing it everywhere I went, and it just kind of caught on. All right, everybody, again, I am here talking to Travis Green. He's talking to us about new music, the latest single, You Waited, which is available everywhere. Isn't that right, Travis? Absolutely. It's available everywhere, and um, I'm very grateful for everyone's support. And, um, man, it's already kind of taken off, and I'm just grateful for it and grateful for you, Sandra, and all that you do and and your impact and your influence um, in the world. Thank you so much, Travis. Listen, artists like you really make it easy. Now, let's talk about your life a little bit. You are a musician, you're a singer, artist, touring, you have, you're a husband, you're a father, and you are a pastor. How in the world do you balance it all? Man, yeah, it's it's, it's not really uh, a way to balance it. It's more of just kind of finding uh, a rhythm in the midst of it, controlled chaos, and um, 
for my wife and I and my, and my children, we understand the assignment at hand. And it's a, it's not just my calling, it's a family's calling. So we all kind of enjoy doing it together. So Travis, who are some of the people that influence you? Like who's in your playlist right now? Man, there's an artist um, named Dante Bo that you have to check out. Dante is amazing, man. I love him. Are you familiar? He came to Jackson. I saw him with uh, Eddie James, I believe, last year. And he is absolutely amazing. Yeah, so right now he's probably my favorite. I mean, he's, I listen to him almost every day. Um, he came by my, my studio last night and we hung out. And um, he's, he's probably one of my favorite artists right now. And, you know, I absolutely love that you mentioned someone that may be an underdog right now. The world may not be familiar with him, but they will. I believe that they will. They will. They will very, very, very soon. So, Travis, I'm interested to know this. Do you remember the very first song that you ever wrote? Hmm. That's a great question. Uh, I don't I can't. I can't recall the very first one. I started so, so, so young. Um, and, um... I can't remember the very first one, mm-hmm. but, uh, I, you know, I, I've been, I mean, probably since I've been writing, period. I've been writing music, and I would use my sisters as kind of my, my test, the people, who, you know, would, would test mm-hmm. the, the parts for me, and um, it's just something I've always done, writing music and trying to preach it was something that I did probably since I was six and seven years old. So what makes a great song to you? Like when you hear a song and you really gravitate to it, what makes a great song to Travis Green? I think it's, I think it's the, I think it's, I think it's two part. It's the words, like the lyrics. At the end of the day, that's what people are going to remember. Like the, the punchline, the lyrics. Um, and then secondly, it's, it's the, the, the voice of conviction behind the lyrics. I think everything else, honestly, is important, but it, it, it can come and go. Um, there, some of the biggest songs that's ever existed had terrible music to it. Um, I mean, really, if you think about it, but um, you walk away remembering, um, you know, so just the, the, the lyrics. I was in a studio uh, a week ago with um, a guy who, who produced all of uh, Captain Crown's records. And that's just one thing that even he was saying, you know, Cassie Crown records are, are great records and they're big records. How far the East is from the West. I mean, the, the list goes on and on and on. They're a huge CCM band, award winning, um, platinum selling band. Um, but they use their church band and they've been advised not to because the musicians aren't that great. But no one cares and they still chart, the, they still top the charts every time they come out because it's the it really when it comes down to a good song it's the it's the lyrics and the, and the the convicted voice behind it all right guys so again we are talking to travis green he's here talking about his latest single you waited and we're going to take a listen to that in just a few minutes but before we do uh travis what's the one thing that you want people to take away from your ministry whether it's your music your recorded music or when they see you live you know it, it means nothing if uh if my my life doesn't match my song, and I think that's the biggest thing I want people to take away uh, that knowing that um, you know specifically my my, my son, I, I want them to be able to walk to school with their head up, knowing that um, yeah, daddy was extremely busy, but he lived what he preached and he lived the songs that he sung, and so that's the biggest takeaway for me. All right, guys, so here it is. We are about to take a listen to the brand new single coming from Travis Green. And you know what, Travis? I want you to set this up, introduce this to our listeners. Hey, everybody, this is Travis Green hanging out with my sister, Sandra. And this is my brand new song, You Waited. Um, I'm so glad that God thought that we were worth the wait. In spite of what you've done, he sees potential in you, and he knows what he's invested inside of you. So let's lift our hands together and worship to this song. 